what's up my central unit is the central bank here so this is my predictions for AEW's double or nothing 2022 this is the first AEW event in Las Vegas since the first one in 2019 the last two double or nothing pay-per-views for 2020 and 2021 was at Daly's Place in Jacksonville Florida because due to the COVID-19 pandemic so I glad it's in Las Vegas um because it's a casino theme pay-per-view. Um and this time it's not at the NGM Grand because the NGM Grand hosts the first um double or nothing pay-per-view in 2019. So um it's at, yeah, it's at the T Mobile Arena in was it Paradise? Nevada, so technically Las Vegas, so I'm glad it's back in Las Vegas. Like I said, it's a casino themed pay per view. So, anyway, um, for the first time in Double or Nothing history, there is no casino battle royale or even a casino ladder match um, for once. You know, and they might bring it back for uh, next year's events. You know, I like the casino battle royale. I give AEW some props. It's basically their answer to the Royal Rumble. I like it, in my opinion. So, anyway, so we got uh, 13 matches on the card. Um, technically 12 on the main show, one on the pre uh, pre-show. We get to the pre-show match shortly. Um, man, it's a free. This is likely a three and a half hour show. I don't know. It's today's pro wrestling event. Today's pro wrestling pay per view is about like three three and a half hour show i wish they just go back to be like a two and a half hour show you know do like a seven eight match card but like doing like 13 matches or 12 matches it's too long i get it you know double nothing is a big pay-per-view you know it's you can say it's their version of wrestlemania and all out their version of SummerSlam. i get it you know but um yeah 30 yeah th you know right like 13 matches, really? Some of these matches on the card belong on, belong on an episode of Dynamite or Rampage. I'm not disking them, I'm just saying. But on the flip side, so I, I can see it being a good show. Uh, by the way, I'm going to save the... Um, uh, yeah, I will predict the Owen Hart uh, final matches uh, really at the end of this prediction video. Because, yeah, the pain, you know, because this year marked the 23rd anniversary of the death of Owen Hart you know the main event is the world tower match so you know I'll, I'll do my predictions of the two um, Owen Hart uh, memorial uh, finals matches for the men and the women you know at the end of this prediction video anyway so let's talk about the um the pre-show or the buy-in so and by the way I'm trying to keep it short and simple of some of these matches others not so much you know the build, I kind of like on and on off watching Dynamite. I'm not saying it's crap. I'm just like kind of on and off watching AEW Dynamite. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I don't really do a lot of predictions. Of uh, not predictions, but like reviewing of Dynamites. You know, it has to do to like too much content on my channel. So that's the reason why the, you know, the last um, Dynamite I review was the um the Grand Slam um episode of Dynamite last year. So that was the last time I review a Dynamite on this channel. So. Anyway, so so let's get to the buy-in. So the only match in the pre-show, this is a tag team match. Uh, we got um, Tony Nice and Smart Mark Sterling taking on Hookhausen. That is Hook and Dan Hansen. So Hook and Dan Hansen, they're basically this, you can tell this, this is head cheese um, type of um, tag team. You know, Hook is the son of Taz, Dan Hansen is t this type of, I don't know, he's kind of like this, I don't know, this emo type of, um, you know, not emo, kind of like this, I can't really explain to him. He, he's basically like a Kiss, you know, similar to the Kiss demon in WCW, you know, but um, I don't know, you know, I, I think this is Dan Hansen's First, technically it's on the pre-show by the way, but I think it's, yeah, his um, first match on a pay-per-view. You know, he's been in AEW for months now. He debuted, what, the end of 2021. Um, so, yeah, 
Yeah, I would go with Hawkhausen defeating both uh, Tony Nese and Mark Stearns. Tony Nese, I don't know, he was just like an enhancement talent at this moment in time in AEW. You know, in WWE, he was kind of like the same. Don't think he's a big star. You know, he's not going to be a big star. I don't know, he's, he's just kind of there, you know. Not much about Mark Stearns. You know, I don't know who the fuck he's an on. I think he's an on screen on screen personality. Who the fuck? Anyway, so m moving on. So anyway, so oh uh, yeah, the first m the first non title match to be in this prediction video. Uh, we got Kyle O'Reilly taking on Darby Allen. This is a difficult one. Um, I don't know. This is um. I mean, this is gonna be a running guess for me. E E nine E Mo. I'll go with Kyle O'Reilly getting the victory over Darby Allen. I like Darby Allen. I can see the um, rest of the Red Dragon, you know, the former Undisputed Era get involved. Sting's going to get involved. It's going to be some shenanigans, which, you know, it's just what it is. Um, um, anyways, um, so moving on to the next one. So the next, so the next match, um, this is a six-person mixed tag team match. Uh, we got the... The American top team, that is Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, and Paige Van Zant. That's on how to pronounce her name. With Dan Lambert in the corner. I think I think they were part of Men of the Year. They were feuding with Chris Jericho last year. They're taking on Sammy Guevara, the former TNT champion, or TBS champion. Actually, they don't really call it a TBS champion, because the TBS uh, championship is a women's belt, so... Uh, because AEW is now doing Dynamites and think Rampage on TBS, I think. I don't know. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Former TNT. Former TNT champion Sammy Guevara, Frankie Kazarian, and Ty Conte. Um. And the stipulation is that if the American, yeah, American top team win, neither Sammy Guevara or Kazarian will will never challenge for the TNT title belt. As long as Sky's the champion, um, I have to. I go with um. I go with um. Sammy, uh, Sammy Guevara, Ty Conti, and Gazarian to fit in American top team. You know, you're trying to keep this rivalry going. You know, I don't know about Scorpio Sky. You know, I don't know. He's well, he's like. I think he's getting old at this moment in time. But um, I don't know. Yeah, he's all right. I'm not saying he's gonna be a top. Star in the company, you know, he's just kind of like he's kind of old at this moment in time. He's, he's like going to be 40. I think he's gonna wind down his career, you know. If he was a bit lo a, a little bit younger, maybe, but um, that's just my opinion. So I go with um, I, yeah, I go with Sam Guevara, Kazarian, and Ty Khan to get the victory, keep, keeping this um rivalry. I'm getting, I guarantee they're gonna do it. Uh, I don't even know they're doing a match at the next pay per view, that's another story for another time, but um. I think they're trying to keep the rivalry going into the summer of 2022 between Scorpio Sky and Sammy for the TNT Championship belt. So anyway, so moving on to the next one. So the next one, uh, this is a really a good banger. Um, this is their first match, first encounter since 2017. We got the Young Bucks taking on the Hardys. This is the Hardys, um, first pay per view as a tag team for years. You know, I think it was 2017 in WWE. Yeah, this is their first encounter since the, um, I think it was a show in Ring of Honor. I'm guessing it was a, I think it was the night after or the night before, because really funny, this is the, the last time when the Hardys were in TNA, they're doing a whole storyline with collecting all the tag team belts in other companies, you know, they compete in the, um, the Ring of Honor show, and then, you know, I think the Young Bucks won, and then the Hardys went, went on to go to WWE, return to WWE, you know, the return at WrestleMania 33 in 2017. So, this is Jeff Hardy's first AEW pay-per-view appearance. So, anyway, so I'm going to go with the Hardys getting the victory over the Young Bucks. I don't say it's a passing of the torch, but um, I think it like, since it's Jeff Hardy's first pay-per-view match in AEW, let him get the win. So, I don't, I don't know, it's just a one-off type of thing, you know. So, let's move on to the next match. So, the next match... um. This is an Anarchy, what was it, the Anarchy Arenas match. Uh, we got um, the Jericho Appreciation Society. Uh, it's Chris Jericho, Matt Menard, 
Angelo Parker, Danny Garcia, and Jake Hager. Taking on the Blackpool Combat Club. That is Brian, uh, Brian Danielson. My apology. Brian Danielson, Brian, <laughs> Brian Danielson and John Moxley. Um, he, they're teaming up with um, Eddie Kingston and yeah, Santana and Ortiz. You know, uh, Santana and Ortiz will take on you know, the, the full, 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 sorry, former uh, members of the Inner Circle. Sorry, I'm stumbling. <laughs> I'm speaking too fast, by the way. So, yeah, um, yeah, because Jericho, Hager, Santana, and Ortiz were part of the Inner Circle, like that. Um, this group, the Jericho Appreciation Society, yeah, I don't know, man, I'm not, I'm not really fly on that. You know, it's a shame how the Inner Circle broke up. I like the Inner Circle. I wish they reformed the Inner Circle. But at this moment in time, you know, Sonny Guevara is doing his own thing with, you know, you know, he was the TNT champion, he's in this feud with Scorpio Sky, you know, American Top Team. I get it, um, but, um, you know, it's a shame, you know, but this, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to get in, in de depth about it, so, this Anarchy Arenas match, I don't know if that's going to be a, sta a stadium stampede match, you know, they had stadium stampede matches in the last two shows, in 2020-2021, I don't, you know, they've given it a change, this is more like a cinematic match, you know, why they call it a, I don't know, why do they change it to Anarchy Arenas match, why do you just call it a stadium stampede match, so, anyway, so, I, I don't think Jericho's group is uh, winning this match, you know, I'm going to go with, you know, the BBC, you know, <laughs> BBC, man, <laughs> get it, you know, the Blackpool Combat Club, um, and um, Kingston, yeah, Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz will get the victory over Jericho's group. I think Jericho's time in AEW is nearly at an end. You know, he's kind of past his best at this moment in time. I like Jericho. I think Jericho. I don't think he's going to leave the company. I think he's going to be work behind the scenes. You know, he's you know be part of the Crave team. You know, he's Crave. You know, Chris, uh, Chris Jericho. So that, that I think that's it. Um, I'll get to the um, I'll talk about the um NG. You know, let's talk about um yeah, let's talk about right now. Yeah, it's my predictions video. So anyway, so yeah, the next match I'm gonna predict is MGF Maxwell Jacob Freeman taking on Wardlow. Um, if yeah, if Wardlow wins this match, he will grant his release from his contract with MGF. If MGF wins that match on this show. Um, yeah, Wardlow will be permanently banned from signing with AEW, so I have to go with Wardlow, getting the victory over MGF, you know, he did that turn at um, Revolution in March of this year, helping CM Punk defeating MGF. Yeah, they were teasing like MGF and Wardlow are going to split, you know, they've been doing it since what, 2020, ever since Wardlow debuted for the company. They teased it, not gonna, went, they never pulled the trigger, but I think they did pull the trigger. You know, wait for the right time. So I think, yeah, Wardlow is like, like I don't know how old is Wardlow. Wardlow is thirty four. He's still young. I think that he's gonna be the next, not next. I can see him being a top star in the company. I think I see both MGF and Wardlow being top stars in this company. You know, I I'm not gonna go with this whole if they're gonna be larger than life characters. I don't want to get into it, but I I can see both both guys gonna be top stars in that company. You know, you can say MGF is kind of the established star in the company. He's been since, being from the very first AEW show. You know, you know he's been a, f you know since um since twenty twenty. You know, like they were part of the Inner Circle. They were part of the Pinnacle. You know, you know Warlow's used to be part of the Pinnacle. Now it's just for now. You know, MGF, Sean Spears. And FTR to kick, um, yeah, to kick Wardlow out of the group. Tolly Blanchard out of the, uh, the group. Why they kick, kicked out Tolly? I thought they brought, they're going to bring Tess into the group, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So, yeah, I go with Wardlow getting the victory. I don't want to see this whole, you know, oh, Wardlow's going to be banned from AEW. That'd be like, yeah, you give NGF more heat, but I think you, you know, but you know, if if he, if NGF won, won this match, you know. You know, I think he needs that win this match. If he lost back-to-back -back, uh, matches, how is he going to pick up some momentum? I guarantee he's not going to win the AEW World Title for this year. When is he going to win the World Title? I want to see MGF winning the World Title. You know, he's only young. He's in his 20s. 
I think he's about 20, he's 26 years old, he's young, he's fucking young. You know, I'm waiting for the right time, I get it, but, um, yeah, because he lost to CM Punk, he's like, like I put my money on Warlow being MGF, so, yeah, he needs to, he needs to start winning matches on pay-per-views, you know, it's okay winning Dynamite, but if you're not winning matches on pay-per-view, why do you give a fuck? So, yeah, um, so, yeah, so, move, let's move on. So that's, um, and also the final match I'm going to predict, um, a non-title match, you know, like I'm going to say the Owen Hart matches, um, not Owen Hart matches, but the Owen Hart tour tournament matches after I predict all the championship matches on the show. So the final non-title match uh, to predict on this show, um, we got a, an, uh, another six-man, this is a normal six-man tag team match, the other one's a mixed tag team match, so... We got the House of Black, that is Maculai Black, the former Alistair Black, Buddy Murphy, that is, um, not Buddy, Buddy Matthews, sorry, yeah, you, you formerly known as Buddy Murphy, sorry, my bad, but how the hell is using the word Buddy, you know, he was Buddy in WWE, and Brody King, um, not much about Brody, Brody King, I feel like that's his real name, no, his real name is Nathan Troy Bluefelt, Bluefelt, uh, anyway, they're taking on the, um, yep, the Death Triangle. That is Pac, formerly known as Neville, Penta Escuro. Uh, why do they keep changing his name? Just call him Penta f at this moment in time. You know, I, I call him Pentagon Jr., but just call him Penta, you know. So you got Pac, Penta, and Ray Vinick. So this is, uh, I'm going with House of Black getting the victory, you know. I heard rumors like there's, like, on social media that WWE's ripping off the House of Black, you know, with Edge's group with... The Judgment Day, don't get me wrong, I like this group. Um, I heard rumors they're going to bring this Julia Hart into that group, you know, because at this moment in time, WWE, you know, brought Rhea Ripley, so it's likely they're going to bring, um, um, you know, I think they've been feuding for months now, I think it's going to, they're kind of being it to death at this moment in time, so, I, I yeah, I think, yeah, because I, I, I can see Julia Hart in, into the House of Black, you know, I don't know. The Death Triangle is gonna put another female, a female wrestler in their group. I don't know. You know, this has got to be the rubber match. So, or they probably do a rubber match at All Out. So, do I have to wait another three months for doing it? I don't know. Or four months? No, it's with September the uh, All Out show. I generally you got that um, Forbidden Door show. So, and then you got All Out in well September time. So, I don't know. So, they probably do the blow off at the next pay per view in June. So any, any, anyway, so yeah, I'll go with um yeah, I'll go with House of Black getting the victory over the Death Triangle. Don't get me wrong, but you know the building uh, Makalai Black up, you know, I can see him being a world champion. You know, his look, he's got a unique look. You know, as the Black, you know, he never got yeah, it's a shame that WWE got the ball with him. But I can see him being a world champion, and yeah, Buddy Mur uh, Buddy Matthews, sorry, <laughs> I keep calling him Murphy, but. Buddy Matthews and Brody King will probably be his servants, you know, you know, their followers, and then same as Julia Hart. Maybe Julia Hart might be, not really be the AEW Women's Champion, but I can see her being the TBS Champion. So let's move on, yeah, yeah let's move on to the next one. Um, technically the first championship match to predict on this prediction video, so... We got Jade Cargill defending the AEW TBS Championship against Anna J. Boy, this is a difficult one. I like Jade Cargill, man. I don't know. You know, she hold the belt in Jack. She hold. She's holding. She won the title. Um, at the um, I think it was at um, I think it was at um, at the first Dynamite on TBS against Ruby Suho. That's in January. So January, February, March, April. We're in May right now, so five months. I can see she can hold the belt much longer. I don't think she's going to have to hold it for a whole uh, entire year. I think she's going to drop it in the summertime. I don't know who's going to drop it. Don't know. So, uh, yeah, I go with Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill defeating um, Anna Jay. Um, I think she is now... I don't think she's... Yeah, she's part... I think she's still part with Dark Order. I don't think the Dark Order is still with it. Still... I think it's... Yeah, still... With it's still with AEW, it's not disbanded, you know. They're not really doing anything, man. I like the Dark Order, but I don't know, man. I don't want to get into it, but um, but um, 
yeah, I go with Jade retaining the TBS Championship against Anna J. So moving on to the next um, so next championship match in this prediction video. So the next match um we got this is a three way um tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. The Jungle Express defending the belts against Team Taz, that is Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs, and Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. Boy, this is a schmaz. Likely it's going to be a schmaz, but um, um, I, I think Jungle Express's times as the tag team champions is nearly at an end. I don't see them dropping the title on the show. Probably at the next pay per view or the pay per view after that. Probably on, or some or an episode of Dynamite or Rampage. Not on the show. I don't feel like it. You know, Team Taz, nah. Keith Lee and Sh uh, Swerve Strickland, nah. I go, yeah, I go with um, the Jungle Express. That is Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, and Luchasaurus. My theory that Christian is going to um, turn on the Jungle Express, turn heel, but in my opinion, too little, too late. I don't know what. I, I think Christian going to AEW was a mistake for him. I mean, he, I don't think he's going back to WWE. It, that'd be cool, you know, because that's a long time. It'd be cool him being out with Edge, you know, with his group, but that's not going to happen. The whole, I don't know, this whole, like, Christian is lost in the shovel, man. Yeah, he's old at this moment in time. He's, I think he's um, in his pushing 50, but um, you will never, you know, I don't know. I think, that, I think that was a mistake having Christian won the Impact World title at the first Rampage. I wish he just won the won the title at all out. That's my opinion, but um, so yeah, um, yeah, jungle, 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 <laughs> jungle express of uh, the Jurassic Express. Sorry, I wish they just call it the Jungle Express. Yeah, the Jurassic, the Jurassic Express. Um, retaining um the tag team titles on the show. So, so moving on to think, I think that's it. I think. I think TNT title is not on the line because, like, because Scorpio Sky is competing in the six-man tag team match. So moving on to the AEW Women's Title match. So we got Thunder Rosa defending the belt. This is her first title defense on a pay-per-view, defending the belt against Serena Deeb. Um, I don't think R Rosa is going to drop the title on the show. She's just won the title against Britt Baker at the. Was it the St. Patrick Slam episode of Dynamite in March? So it's, I don't think she's dropping it. You know, Serena, Serena Deeb, you know, she was feeling with Ikara Shida. I don't know, man. This is, boy, this is a difficult one. I don't know. You know, you know, I, no, I'd go with Thunder Rosa retaining it. You know, I could see Thunder dropping the belt to who? I don't know. Brit, Ty, Brit already had a go. Shida's have, already had a go. Ruby Suho? No, I don't know, man. It's like it's plenty of good women on the roster. You know, they need to do like a number number one contenders match or a battle royal. Get who is the next contender for the for the uh, women's championship. So and moving on to the likely this is this is going to be the main event, folks. Um, uh, we got uh, yeah, Adam Hangman Page defending the AEW. World Heavyweight Championship against CM Punk. Um, this is Punk's first title defense. Well, not title match in AEW. First world title match in, as a pro wrestler for almost a decade. His last world title match was against The Rock at the Elimination Chamber pay per view in 2013. Sorry, um, I, I say title defense, but um, title match in in almost a decade. So. Nah, this is too late, too soon for Punk getting the belt, man. I wish they, I didn't say that all out, man. You know, but um, I don't know. I think I think Hamman Page's time as the world champion is at an end, coming at an end. Uh, Punk, I think he's gonna win it. I def, I I don't know, man. I I can see Punk gonna drop it to MGF in a future pay per view. I don't know when. I don't think he's gonna drop it out all out. In a few months' time, that'll be too short, you know. But that'll be in September, so that'll be four, five month, five month time. I don't know, man. This, you know, they rushed this. I wish, like, like give them, like, do the. They should have done the Hammer Page, uh, Wardlow of uh, Hammer Page, uh, MGF World Title match on the show instead of 
uh, Page versus Punk, you know. Too soon, let Punk save that all out, um, and then, you know, and then Punk probably win the belt in his hometown of Chicago. That's my pick, but, but no, um, but I, I can see Punk winning it, you know. I don't think he's going to get, like, another lengthy reign as the world champion, like, when he was the WWE champion a decade ago. That was the, that was a different, that was a different time. Thunder cannot strike twice, um, but um, I want to see I want to see Punk winning the title, man. You know, I think he's I think you know if Punk wins the world title, that'll be his last that'll be his last world title run in his career because the dude's forty three. He'll be forty four in October, so he'll probably have a I think he'll probably win the title, hold the belt not until probably at the um, Full Gear show, and then he'll drop the title to MGF, and then I don't think he's staying in AEW that long. He's not doing it for 10 years, probably like 2 or 3 years, you know. He's getting on, you know, Punk, he's in his 40s, man. Look at Jericho. He's been in AEW since the very beginning. He's in his 50s now, he's kind of past his prime. You know, you got to realize, you know, they're not these wrestlers in their 40s, they're not at the limelight anymore. You know, you got to pass the torch somehow, but um, I don't see Punk drop, I don't see Punk losing it. That'll be dis disappointing. You know, they're building Punk up. You know, I'd rather... Uh, you know, strike it when the hot the iron is still hot. So, moving on to the Owen Hart Foundation tournament matches for the men and the women. So we're gonna start start with the women. For the women, um, we got Doctor Britt Baker DMD taking on Ruby Suho, formerly known as Ruby Wright in the day E. I have to go with Ruby getting the victory. Um, I think Ruby so far since. Like debuting in AEW a year ago, she's losing big matches. Like she lost the women's title match to Britt at uh, at the Grand Slam show, and then she lost to Jade Cargill. <laughs> it's like Jade Cargill in the finals of the TBS uh, title tournament in at the um, the first Dynamite of 2022 on TBS. So if she loses on this show, how the hell are you building up Ruby Suho, man? She's built like a loser, you know. Like, in Dei Dei, they, they, they're trying to put the belt and try to give her a push, being in the, in, in the women's title picture. And they never struck it when the iron's hot. They never pulled the trigger on a world, on a women's title reign for Ruby Riot. You know, he's, she's like, she lost one or two women's title matches in Dei Dei. E. Um, she's now lost two women's title matches in AEW. She's both like a loser. Britt, she doesn't really need to win this match, you know, because Britt is an established star. At this moment in time, you know, you know, um, you know, she, you know, I understand why, but uh, I think Ruby needs to get the win. I can see some shenanigans with uh, Brit's group, you know, with a uh, Jamie Hater and Rebel. I don't like Rebel. Let's be real. I hate her. I think she's very annoying. I find her annoying every time. Like Brit's doing the whole fucking um, grabbing the putting, putting on her glove, setting up the uh, the lock jaws, and she's doing the screams. I really. Fucking cringe! It really drives me nuts. You know, she needs to fuck off, man. At this moment in time, I like women's factions. I prefer uh, a faction with women who can actually can wrestle. That's just me. That's just me. Anyway, so I go with Ruby getting the victory to win the women's Owen Hart for that Foundation tournament. Britt doesn't really need it. So moving on, moving on to the men's um um found finals of the yeah, the men's Owen Hart Foundation tournament final match. So. We got Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe taking on Adam Cole, Jay Lethal, Sanjay Dutt, and Sun Hansen are about barred from ringside because Joe was feuding with these guys a week's back. I watched some clips from Dynamite, um, because at this moment in time, you know, AEW's now bought Ring of Honor. They're doing their, they're doing their, their a Cole show next month, so might do it on this channel, review it, and do the prediction video. I'm not reviewing some dynamites. I might watch some dynamites. I'm trying to, you know, turn off my AEW pundit brain shut for dynamites for the time being. So this is a difficult one. This is very difficult. This is gonna be a random guess, man. Otherwise, this is gonna be a very long review. So, um, not review, prediction video of any me, mighty mo. I don't call. Yeah, I, I like some mojo, but um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with some Adam Cole, man. Adam Cole, baby. So yeah, um, that's my predictions video for AEW Double Nothing 2022. I'm gonna recap before I'm gonna end this video. So the pre-show, I predict Hookhausen 
winning the pre-show match. Um, I predict uh, Kyle O'Reilly winning his match against Darby Allen. Jade Cargill retaining the TBS Championship against Anna J. House of Black winning their match against the Death Triangle. Sammy Guevara, Frankie Kazarian, and Ty Conte winning their match against the American Top Team. You know, that's Scorpio, Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, and Paige Van Zandt. I, I predict the Hardys winning their match against the Young Bucks. Jurassic Express retaining the AEW World Tag Team Championships in a three-way tag team match against Team Taz and Keith Lee and Swerve Scott. So the squad is Isaiah Swerve Scott in NXT's WWE. In the Anarchy Arenas match, I predict, you know, you know, the BBC, the Blackpool <laughs> Combat Club, Eddie Kingston, Santina, Santana and Ortiz uh, win their match against the, Jer against the Jericho Appreciation Society. That's Chris Jericho's group. Um, I predict Thunder Rosa retaining her AEW women's title against Serena Deeb. And I predict uh, CM Punk... Um, Yes, I predict CM Punk winning the AEW World title in the main event against Hangman Page. And also, I predict, um, yeah, uh, Wardlow defeating NGF. And also, and the, um, who's, who's going to win the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament? That is Adam Cole and Ruby Suho. So, anyway, so that's my predictions for AEW's Double Nothing 2022. Leave the thoughts on the com comment section below. Smash the like button, click the bell, click the like. Subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. Be part of the Central Unit for more wrestling videos and more. And this is the Central Man officially signing out. Check you later, folks.